Howdy folks, if you click this video, then you must be having some trouble beating higher belts slash black belts in jujitsu. Well, lucky you, because in this video, I will be giving expert step-by-step -step guidance on how to defeat any upper belts in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Now, maybe you are still a beginner or an intermediate practitioner and you're thinking to yourself, well, of course they're going to beat me. They have been training way longer and are just overall more technical. To that, I say nay. If you follow these tactics and strategy, it's a surefire way of winning. And we all know winning is all that matters. Let's fast forward into your first role with the black belt at said gym. Before you even think of slapping and bumping, make sure to tell the black belt that you're just getting back into jujitsu and are coming off of a severe injury. This can be anything. Make it up, be creative. Hey man, my anal cavity just got ruptured a year ago and I've been dealing with it. You know, make it creative, any injury will do. This is gonna cause the black belt to lower his guard and make it easier for you to get the tap. Right after the initial slap and bump, you're gonna go ahead and attempt the good old major look. And if you're unfamiliar with the major look, it's pretty much the practice of pretending that something very interesting or surprising is happening directly behind the black belt. You can even sell this by pointing your index finger in that direction behind his head. This will cause a black belt to turn his head and rotate his body. Crucial mistake, because that's gonna expose his back. You're then going to immediately jump on this opportunity by attacking the back and throwing your arms over the neck of said black belt. If you miss the rear naked choke and you're over the chin, even better. You're gonna go ahead and crank on his neck like it's never been cranked before. This has a 95 plus percent success rate. Once the black belt taps, you're gonna wanna go ahead and fake a phone call from one of your loved ones and say, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. It's actually my great grandma's funeral today. I have to leave immediately. Then proceed to leave the gym and congratulations. You've now beaten a black belt. You own him forever and ever. Now you may be asking yourself, well, what about the other 5% of the time where that may not work? Maybe the black belt doesn't fall for it. Well, that's a good question. If you attempt this, you know, little cheeky move, it will likely really piss off the fellow black belt and he's gonna go full tilt on you. But no worries, we have a backup plan. If this move fails, you're gonna wanna go ahead, reach into your pocket, grab a fistful of pocket sand, throw it in the eyes of the black belt and give you about 10 seconds to make your escape. Once you're in your car, you're gonna need to find a new gym with a new black belt and repeat this process until you have successfully submitted one. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of it knowledgeable. I know I'm dropping facts here. So if you enjoyed, here's another video. I appreciate it.